Hello everybody, Dr. Carlo Oyer, board certified emergency physician with DrER.TV. If you're watching this, you're actually at ED Exit Video Pro, a channel specifically designed for the subset of people who just want to learn more about medicine in general. This is a nice little cartoon that came out when uh, COVID hit and it shows different medical providers kind of like D-Day getting out of the ship, ready to fight the good fight for everybody else. I thought it was a good one. Um, it definitely represents what we all went through and we all put our lives at stake for the sake of the general population and this pandemic of COVID-19. So let's get to the case here. A seven month old boy presented to the emergency department with an obvious head injury after a witness fall from standing onto carpeted floor. He did not lose consciousness or vomit after the incident. So this was a low mechanism to a carpeted floor, so uh, definitely the, the very little indication there would be any significant injury. But there was a left-sided skull deformity that was observed on examination. Let's take a look. That's pretty impressive right there. Look at that. It's like a better in than out, I always say, in the words of Shrek. But he said the opposite, better out than in. So this is a definitely a, a indentation on the parieto-occipital area of this patient's head. So let's see what the CT scan uh, shows. You can see clearly that indentation right here. So this is significantly abnormal. You would expect to be a fracture, but it's not a really, it really, doesn't look like a fracture. It more looks like just, a, it just got indented, a dent on the head. So let's read the, the clinical case here. Although technically not a fracture, because it's no actual fracture of the bone, this inward buckling of the skull without cortical disruption is named for the similarity in appearance to a ping pong ball. So it's called a ping pong fracture. This injury occurs in newborns and young infants because the elasticity of the developing bones allows for, allows for the indentation without it breaking. Birth injury is chiefly responsible for this type of injury in newborns with accidental and non-accidental trauma as likely causes in young infants. Similarly, two depressed skull fractures, ping pong fractures can be associated with underlying brain injury, edema, which is swelling, intracranial hemorrhage or bleeding in the brain, and possible dural tears. However, intracranial injury is seldom observed. In this patient, it was obtained a neurosurgical consultation, admission for observation, and supportive measures to watch for post-concussive symptoms, seizures, and things like that. Treatment options include conservative management and surgical repair. Nobody wants a ping pong deformity. Intermediary measures such as using obstetric vacuum extractor devices to lift the depressed bone to its original contour have shown e efficacy in case studies, but obviously this would be like the real or tiny babies that were just born as opposed to a kid who's already 10 months old and the brain start hardening and plus they have hair so that vacuum might not work very well. There is insufficient evidence to support any particular treatment option in regards to optimizing neurological outcome or cosmetic appearance other than doing surgery itself. I mean, you go in, you kind of bring that back up, but it is neurosurgery, so what do you want to do? You, you can leave it alone and just watch the patient for um, complications of post-concussion and head injury with headaches and memory problems, irritability, and things like that that happen with a post-concussion. Or surgery, which potentially can cause any number of problems. So this is really cool. I never heard of it before. Uh, a ping pong deformity type in the skull from a low mechanism head injury. Uh, not causing internal bleeding, not causing a skull fracture itself, but it is called a ping pong fracture. So even the name is cool. And um, mostly observation and conservative management, but it can require surgery. Hey, I hope you learned in this video. I certainly learned doing it. We learned about ping pong fracture or ping pong deformity from a low mechanism fall on young infant. It can happen also with birth through whether birth in the birth canal and stuff like that. So technically not a fracture, but definitely a deformity that causes significant uh, cosmetic issues and hopefully not 
permanent neurological damage in this patient. I hope you learned with this video. Comment below if you ever heard of this before or maybe have a family or friend with it um, and uh, what happened. Um, we'll see you in our next video. I hope you're learning through the series. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.